Okay, hello everyone, this is Kiru Show here. And when we last left off, this, this is gonna be uploaded late. About, yeah, 12 in the morning. I just got interrupted and I just had to talk to my sister real quick. But this is coming out very late and because I just wanna at least upload. And not seem like I took a day off, but I actually had to work today. And instead of working, their system has me registered as a part timer, but I'm trying to work full time. And I actually just worked eight hours today, and I also had an hour lunch, so I was at a store for nine hours. It is, it has felt like three days since I've been home. I barely got home, showered. Eight and start down and start recording. But anyway, whenever we last left off, Mary had just walked into class one A, and he would have saw Deku and said that your name is Midoriya, correct? The guy who fought the villain. He would say that yes, it is, it is, and Mary would ask what kind of. If he really does look to his inspire, Mario would then say that he really hope he does. He does because he didn't know that quirks may push that far. Deck would say that his quirk actually. He doesn't know if he could do that again, but his quirk seemed that it seemed that his quirk evolved out of pure rage. But he has discovered. New abilities that he can use to do with his quirk. Now, after saying that, Mary would say that that's going to be very interesting to see because they're going to be fighting today. He wants to see where Class 1A stands against him. Now then, let's cut to the fight. They would start, and Mary would completely dismantle Class 1A. Everyone except for Deku, Momo, and Jiro. And as soon as that happens, he would then, he would try to fight Deku and Momo. But, well actually not Momo. He would try and, he would eventually wear Momo down to the point where she can't use her quirk very much. And she would try fighting him hand to hand, but she would have quickly learn that his quirk he he basically had her face, her hand through his face, and he punched her in the face. And actually took her down. Now, after that, this is whenever Jiro would actually try blasting Mario. And she'd actually be fighting him pretty well. And Deku was actually joining in with her. He's trying to shoot Mario with spider webs, but he just keeps permeating through them. And anytime Mario would actually try attacking Deku, well, Deku would ask Mario, well, he would ask Jiro if she can sit this out because he actually wants to see if he can beat him. Jiro would actually say that, all right, but afterwards he wants to see where she stands. So. She would actually begin fighting with the girl who has the other quirk. And the manifest guy, or the hunger guy, Sun Eater, he actually did join in. So it's Deku versus Sun Eater and Mario. So Lamillion. Now, everyone is watching as Deku is seemingly just punched through this guy's clamshell armor and actually nearly broke broke a couple ribs. Now afterwards this guy would actually say that he didn't expect that and Deku would just web him up and actually make it to where he can't fight anymore. 
because he can't even move his hand. Now, after that, Deku would go back to fighting Mirio. Mirio would begin permeating through the ground, and he would have gone through. Now, when he comes up, he can't see Deku anywhere. Now, he's actually looking around, and he thinks that Deku might have run away. This is whenever all he would hear is pssst, as he would turn and then be immediately punched in the face. But all he sees is Deku's hand. After this, he would then just get a flurry of punches that are seemingly coming from nowhere. This is whenever Deku would finally knock him to the ground with a good solid punch and actually uncloak himself. He would say that it's a good thing that he quickly learned how to do this. Because he may not have beat him if he... Well, he may have gotten the upper hand and eventually worn him down. Jiro would have beat that Soundwave girl with one for all. Or helping herself with one for all. And her actual quirk. Along with Black Whip. But now, Deku would say that it's actually pretty impressive. But your quirk doesn't do anything to help you on your durability. So I was holding back. Mario would say that it's pretty good because those punches were pretty solid. Now, got to the special training. Mario, well, Mario, not Mario, Jiro and Deku, they are actually training together, and he's actually instructing her on some things she can do with her whip. And people are watching as he's essentially... If you guys have ever seen, like, hmm, um, crap, um, okay, I can't use any analogy here, that would make sense. Uh, he's essentially, like, holding her arm out, and he's like, He's showing her a good stance to like use the whip at and good ways to use it. Essentially, since she can essentially control it even after it's out of her arm. And this is whenever everyone's basically watching and talking about that. Shinsho can't really develop any of his special abilities since it's basically just brainwashing. Everyone else though would get their special abilities. Bakugo, yeah, he still does that thing with All Might, but this time it's Jiro who steps in. And she would actually break the thing, all, uh, almost shatter it to pieces almost with about 50 to 60% of one for all. And yeah. Cut to the professional licenses. Deku is saying on the bus that it's pretty impressive, but one thing he realized, well, he was looking into it quite a bit, and he tried seeing if other schools had sports festivals like theirs, but no one really ever reported them, or they weren't ever live-streamed. So only the schools really ever saw them use each other's quirks. This is when Virgil would say, so you're saying that every other school knows our quirks. Is that it? Deku would say that, yeah, that's about it, but... After that, everyone's talking and they're basically realizing that they're going to be the number one targets since their quirks are very well known. People know what their quirks do, they know what their quirks are named, all that. Now, this is whenever Deku would then say that if that's the case, then we all need to stick together. But it's going to be quite difficult. Because Todoroki would still be Todoroki and actually go off. So it's Bakugo, Kirishima, and Kaminari that would actually go follow him. Instead of Todoroki being alone. The whole thing with the wind guy would still happen. And yeah. Deku and Jiro are essentially flying around. Well, not flying around. They're swinging around the entire area and people are watching this. And anytime... People would actually try hitting Jiro with balls. 
she would actually just blast them back, and Deku would eventually just turn invisible. And people are confused because they saw him in the air one minute, then he's in front of them or behind them, and they're getting hit with a ball and actually being knocked out. Now, this is whenever they would eventually win and continue. Now, people would have actually asked Deku what his hero name is, because... Actually, no, let's go back to that. What is Deku's hero name? People would actually get all theirs in canon, except for Jiro and Deku. Deku would actually pick Spider-Punk. And people are thinking that that's pretty good, because of the way his outfit is and the way he usually acts. And they're asking Jiro her quirk, or her hero name. And her hero name is... I want to say... Okay, that sounds weird. I was going to say Mistress of Sound, but that's a bit too weird for a high school kid to have as a hero name. Let's see. Hmm. Queen of the Guitar. Queen of... It's Queen of Sound. How about something like that? And, yeah, so... That is going to have to leave this what-if off, and I will be continuing it after the anime catches up. But... Hey, guys. Uh, if you hope you enjoyed this part, uh, one thing I want to do is actually look into my whole 10 quirk video and find some more quirks I want to use. Because I have already explained three of the quirks and how I... Essentially, they're similar to certain quirks I've seen. And three of them, the three quirks I have talked about, I've not seen them, but I've researched some of them. Anyways, have a good day, guys.